<clears throat> Here's the game. Here it is. Can't get enough of the ladder right now. It's good. Hello, everyone. What is happening? We are already starting our second character on ladder. That's how awesome it's going. Alrighty. We're not done with the assassin, but check out this dude. Hawk. Alright, so the assassin, I kept finding like cool bows and stuff. <laughs> like, look at this. The Icar Sting. When have you ever had an opportunity to use this? There's 50% pierce on it at level 18, 20 dex. What about the rogue's composite bow? 50% increase attack speed. 100% damage to demons, 30% deadly strike at level 20. And a Bariza, a perfect Bariza. What's funny is I went on Tradery to see if I could find a perfect Bariza. And there was one. And who, the person that had it was Zaug, <laughs> who watches the channel, who contributes like uh, by like in the conversation a lot. He's donated some charms. He's made a toxic multi shot Amazon after I made one. Like, and he's talked about it a lot with me. Um, so anyway, Zaug uh, was like, "Dude, is this you, Michael?" I'm like, "Yep, what's up, buddy?" <laughs> so I traded him uh, a rune, a Istrune, for his perfect Bariza. That's what he was. That, that's what he posted it for. So check it out, man. Two hundred percent ED. I already put a socket in it as well. So we're gonna be a bow barb. Uh, physical damage as well and a lot of our stuff on our assassin can carry over to this guy pretty well so and we have all kinds of stuff in here we've got goblin toes rattle cage we've got icker string icker sting rogues bow bariza uh, a level zero superior longbow with three sockets level zero cap two sockets level zero hard leather armor two sockets one dex gloves one dex boots a belt level four required clegg laws for knockback and slow target We've got no level requirement charms already. Lightning max damage, fire max damage, cold res, and hit recovery. And these can be used at pretty early level as well. I also have some, some gems like this. This one has 20 poison damage over 2 seconds. Alright, so I'm going to toss, I think, I think I'm going to toss in this 20 poison damage over 2 seconds on the helmet. I had one of these uh, when I started my assassin too. And then look, as we level, this one is at level 11 we can toss in something. This one's level 16. And so I could put this in the helmet. Um, you know, I could put this in the armor. And then whatever gems we find, chip gems, we could just toss them right in here. And we'll be ready to go. So um, I also found this really nice jewel. 39% enhanced damage, 37 cold damage. So I, could, I was thinking of putting that in the G face, you know. I've also got this, which is not doesn't get a lot of use, but it's got damage to undead with 20 strength, 10 all res, and hit cause monster to flee at level 20. So there's all kinds of level 20 stuff we can use, and I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, we've got some max damage charms too, and we can pull some of those off of our uh, assassin when we want to, and. Look, I found this rare bow with amp damage on strike as well, with attack rating. So, we also have a ground fury visor in case we run into a bunch of lightning damage we can't handle. I could toss this on. Um, and then we have bases too for more stuff if we need that. Anyway, we're ready to go. So, um, we're going to do bow barb. Second character on the ladder already, man. Let's go. Let's get moving. Definitely use Battle Cry or the negative defense will end your attack rating needs. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. So look at this. Level we're level zero. Stamina potion is OP right now. We're level zero, right? We've got I've 15 ED3 sockets. I found that with my assassin and I was like, 
Okay, I'm going to start the bow barb now. And I found a bunch of other stuff, too. All kinds of cool, unique bows and crossbows that don't get a lot of use, you know? So we're going to use them now. And this is a character that I wanted to make on non-ladder, because I have, like, all this cool gear for it. But I'm think I think we can make it on this ladder, dude. Like, instead of, go instead of going on non-ladder, I think I can just do it here. So, chipped emerald. Beautiful. All right. Boom. Put it in the bow. Oh, yeah. And we leveled already. I can actually change back my sound effects now. I just realized. I'll put them back up so that we can hear the level ups and stuff a little better. Whoops. I just left the game. <laughs> let's go. Let's get back in there. My bad. So, yeah. Still ladder. Still continuing on. The assassin's not done, but... I thought this would be cool to start the next character already. Quill rats, the most difficult enemy later on in the game. We'll just skip the den, I guess, for now, cause since we didn't find it right away. I'm just gonna keep on moving. Robert, is there a bow mastery? Nope. There is not. But, there are max damage attack rating charms. There are, there are, uh, might mercenaries, you know, with auras. And there are items with auras. And the Barbarian can get a lot of his life back, or a lot of his life, through his battle orders. So, so we can kind of go low life for this character and pump a lot into Dexterity. And then we can also buff up our Deadly Strike as much as possible. So, like, we can get Deadly Strike on Gore Riders. We can get Deadly Strike on High Lords. We can get Deadly Strike on G-Face. We can get Deadly Strike with a low rune. It's socketed into a unique bow. And we'll be hitting for double damage almost all the time when we do that. So that'll be great. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that we could make this character a lot stronger than people would probably imagine. Um, with lots of really good gear. And... Because of the stuff that we've got so far on the ladder, and, you know, the couple burr runes that I just obtained and everything, I am i don't think I'm going to have a problem getting, getting, being able to, um, deck out this, this bow barbarian on ladder. Um, and like I said, I was going to make this character on non-ladder to show off on the channel, but I think it'll be fun to show him off leveling as him, and, um, this whole time. Uh, I think that'll be cool. So, second off meta build on this ladder so far. And, uh, the reason I'm doing it too is because I just kept finding stuff along the way for a character like this. Um, I found several different bows and stuff. And I, and I didn't even keep everything either that I could have kept. So... I have Mage Wrath. Mage Wrath, okay. Mage Wrath is, uh, would be decent, I think. I have the Bereza, though, in the stash. So that's what I'm going for.
Chip Sapphire. Let's do that too. Boom. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we're already... Look at it. We're crushing already. Look at this. <laughs> we're so good. So I don't know if you guys heard my explanation in the beginning, too. Uh, I was looking on Tradery to see... What it would t what a perfect Bariza cost, and I found one, and it was going for an Istrun, and it was Zaug, who was trading it, who like watches my channel and is like interacted with me, like traded with me, like give donated stuff, like talked to me about toxic multi shot Amazon, like he made one himself, even like he donated a bunch of charms one day too, like poison charms. On ladder, just like here, take these and put them on your Amazon when you, when you get to non ladder, and uh, and so he was like, dude, is this you? I was like, yeah, man, like what's up? And he was like, sweet, like uh, let's um, let's do the trade. And then he goes, and then I'll and he goes, then I'll rush you, I'll rush your mule really quick, so that um, you can put a socket in the Bariza. And I was like, awesome, let's do that. So we've got a perfect Bariza in the stash that that has a socket already. There we go. Waypoint. Adventurous Gaming says, Hi, but it's still only... One attack per hit. Um, hang on, let me pop up. Let me move my chat a little bit, sorry. So I can read all of that. I forgot to move it. Uh, let's see. It says... Oh, still only one target per hit. Don't you think that it will be a bit annoying? Um... We'll see. My, um, my assassin on ladder right now is only one target per hit, and she's, she's awesome. And we get around that in a couple ways, you know, too. We have, we have a mercenary on her that does AoE damage, and the Shadow Master does AoE damage. So, you know, I think, I think this will be cool. And if it doesn't work out, then that's fine. I'm still going to enjoy trying to make it work. And a lot of times, my off-meta builds, this is kind of how I, how I do, how I roll with them, is um, I'll actually just level as the, as the class that I'm trying to create. Here's another one. There we go. Okay, so now we've got 20 poison damage over 3 seconds in the bow with 1 to 3 cold. 20 poison damage over 2 seconds on the helmet. There we go. What can we even get? Find item. That's all we can get right now. Nothing else is really going to do anything for me. I guess Howl. Howl could be good. Let's put one into Howl. It'll never be you, says Yo, long hair man. Have you played... SC2. SC2. 
uh... Let me think. What is that? <laughs> and poison. Oh, that's so good. 3D chess, actually. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I did. Pl I used to play StarCraft, but my, uh, my cousins were always so much better at it than me when I was a kid, you know? So, like, they, they kind of got really into it, and then I just kind of kept playing, uh, like, Warcraft a bit more, and Diablo, um, and then I, and then I was really into, like, other stuff, like, the Final Fantasy games, and Metal Gear Solid, stuff like that. YouTube streaming is so is so good, says it'll never be you. What do you mean by that? Like, the quality seems to be alright or something, or what? Or do you mean for StarCraft? It's so good. Dude, we're, <laughs> we're really strong right now. This is fun. Uh... Kind of keep missing though, so. Here we go. A little bit more attack rating and damage. It was my. It was the worst, man. Now I'm a good um, StarCraft 2 player. It's all thanks. It's all thanks to StarCraft 2. I'm confused about what you're talking about now because you said you are now, you're a god CS2 player. It's all thanks to SC2. Are you talking about chess? Sorry. Sorry I'm not following right now. Emperor X, I'm researching the max attack rating needed, so I would suggest you also mix in a few mid-max damage charms, because you get more attack rating than you need. Yeah, um, large charms that have 6 max damage with attack rating are not that expensive. So I, I'm, I'm going to go with like a bunch of those, I think. You know? What kind are you making now, says Atlantis. Bow barbarian, dude. I kept finding bows that would be good for leveling and for trying to pursue, like, the end in the end game, you know? So I decided to roll a barbarian now who's going to use a bow. And he's not going to be like double billies where he, where he has that really sick, like, fire damage and fire charms and everything. I'm, uh, I'm going to do physical damage. I already have a perfectly rolled Bariza with a socket. And we have a lot of the stuff we need to make this work. So, um, yeah, and it just, like, I wasn't planning on it. It's just that I kept finding, like, good, like, bows and stuff, too, that, like, you never use. And so I was just like, this will be a good opportunity to, to do this character because I was going to do this character on non-ladder anyway. And I think we can, I think we can make it all work. Between the assassin that I have now and what I already have for this guy, I think we'll be able to get everything we need. Oh, nice. SC2 is the hardest game you will ever play. Says it'll never be you. It's been so long, honestly. Like, I just didn't, I, I don't play it, or, like, at all anymore or anything.
Will this work? It will. Look at that. Cool. Look at that beautiful use of Howl right there. There it is. Turtle Dove. He's, he said it. The little... The little devilkin carver guy. He's like, Turtle Dove! Sounds like Turtle Dove. Oh, my bad min max damage, says Emperor. Try a couple ranked. Every day. Yeah, I... It'll never be you. I'm probably not gonna be playing that you know I like it's I like I don't, I don't really have a desire to try to like relearn Starcraft There we go. We got a ring. Max damage. Gold. Fire res. Gold. <laughs> okay. I picked up all these games that I never play, says one creative nickname. Um, there's something about learning new stuff or just enjoying the good old DO D2. Yeah, I mean... There's... I'm also just like, this isn't the only game I've been playing too. Like, I'm also... I also completed Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And that game is massive. And... I have... Some of my most successful videos on my channel are about that game. And so, I... Actually... Am going to be making videos on that soon again too because and I already had some people asking me too about it like they're like are you gonna do any more videos like on this stuff it's like yeah but it's I said yeah but the game is so massive I like it took so, me so long just to beat it it's like I have to like even th sit there and think about it the other game I thought about for like years <laughs> Kind of just want to chill for a couple of hours killing monsters, says one creative nickname. Alrighty. Thank you, Order. Okay, so a couple more levels for those. Uh, attacker takes damage. Replenish life. 
Né? Get a couple of those. I need the waypoint, though, before I go do that. So... Let's go find that. Yeah, if you're just joining, thank you for checking in on the stream. I know I've been streaming a lot lately. Um, and this is the second character we're rolling on ladder right now. Good waypoint. Let's move. up him. Uh, would it be a dexterity for the armor? Sure. Let's do that. Ooh, look at Now we have green armor. Sweet. Graphics right there. All right. The knockback is super cool. So one of my favorite things to do actually in this game is to like prepare all the gear for like a build, you know, and give them like a bunch of stuff for like the journey. It's like New Game Plus, you know? Some of these builds aren't possible without doing that. Like Bow Barbarian class, you know? It's like, if you don't have stuff, it's, it's gonna be really hard. Here's Griswold. It's pretty resistant to the, the, some of the poison damage we have. <laughs> Alright. That worked out pretty good. It'll never be used as I never beat D2. You never beat it, huh? Wow. I I mean, D, I don't think you can beat this game, though. That's the thing. There is no beating this game. It just It's just an endless loop, you know? Like, once you defeat Bale, it's not like you just stop there. Like, you go, you go to Nightmare difficulty, then you go to Hell difficulty. And then you try to, like, min-max characters. And then there's PvP. And then there's off-meta. And then there's challenge runs. And then there's speed runs. And then there's Holy Grail, trying to collect all the items. And then there's, like, you know what I mean? It's like, and then you're like, well, it's the ladder. So I start all over again, and I have nothing. So the game never ends, bro. <laughs> you can't beat it. <laughs> Do you play on harder difficulties from the start? You can't. You, you um, There's normal, nightmare, and hell. And when you beat normal, you can go to nightmare. You can't just start on hell um, from the start. You can do hardcore. Hardcore is if you die, you're done. You cannot reload. You cannot play anymore. Your character is gone.
One strength and six mana. Okay. So look, all these charms are activated right now, right from the start. That's cool. <clears throat> Dark wood. Um, what what level are we? We're seven. Okay. Maybe we go complete this so that we can get a mercenary to lower everyone's defense for us. That way we'll be able to hit a little bit better. What's your go-to ladder starter? I don't have one. I don't have one, dude. Um, I've never started a sorceress before on ladder. Um, I'll say that I've started assassin a couple times on ladder, and I really like assassin, on, I guess, because she has burst of speed in Dragonflight and can open chests without keys. So I I do like assassin I guess if I um if I had to pick and I've started druid on ladders before and that's okay I feel like it's I feel like he slows down he can get slowed down a lot though Assassin, Druid, Necromancer. Necromancer would be good. I like Necromancer. That was Necromancer was my first character when D2R launched. Um, before there was Ladder, you know, which was basically Ladder if you think about it, because it's like that was the start of it. Boom. Uh, attack rating, strength, dex, lightning, fire, light. Wow, those are actually like good for level six, man. Damage to undead, but they're not going to be better than slows target knockback. So, um, is this Clegg Laws? This. I think it is. Good day. I can hurt. Here you go. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. Oh yeah. One creative nickname says Druid is physical damage with caster gear on the tornado. Necro got the corpse explosion, you just add anything to it and you're good to go. Yeah. Druid and Necro can be super safe, too, with their, uh, summons. I just, I like summons a lot in the game. It's one of my favorite things, I think, is to have minions of some kind. Um, Um. <laughs> All right, so at level, let's see. 55 dexterity, 35 strength. So let's see. I could use this Arctic Horn. Will that be better? I don't know. Let's just put it on swap and see. I don't have any other Arctic gear though. I wasn't like I think I found a couple pieces at some point, but I wasn't I wasn't collecting it, you know. So unless I give that to the mercenary, maybe. Nine to twenty one. Yeah, maybe I just give this. Because I get the bonus to attack rating with that. Uh, here. Here. You take this one. I'll put that to good use. 
and I'll I'll keep using this one and we'll try that out for a little bit dude look at our uh, green armor on our barbarian we're like Robin Hood sick It'll never be you, says, does this game ever feel lonely? Hmm. Does the game feel lonely? Do you mean, do I feel lonely when I play the game? I like the solitary feeling of this game. Um. So, it's not a problem to me. I, th I, I like that I can play this game while doing something else as well. So I could watch basketball while I play this game. I could listen to a podcast. I could live stream and share with people about it. Um, the loneliness of the game, I think, just what comes to mind is that, yeah, you. I think that's part of the atmosphere is this dread of hell breaking loose and you being on your own, you know? That is kind of a lonely feeling, I guess. But uh, I don't particularly feel lonely, I don't think. Uh, like, in a bad way. I, I, I'm I, someone who doesn't mind. Um, I'm someone who doesn't really mind being on my own a lot. You know? It's, um... I've kind of always been that way. One creative nickname says you can play this game with seven buds if you want or chill on your own. PvP is not lonely, lol. It'll never be you, says StarCraft 2 again. He really, You really like that, don't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, that game, I mean, that's not lonely, is it? You're surrounded by stuff all the time. Um, and you're, if you're doing the, if you're playing against people, man, that's a, that's a pretty intense feeling. I remember when I was younger, when we would do that, though, we'd do, like, group games and stuff, and it was always like, oh, man, like, it felt intense playing against somebody online, you know, that you didn't know. And you're trying to, like, get all your army together and, like, get all, like, your barracks set up, like, right away and get units pumping out. Trying different strategies, like, you know, just making, like, the peasant unit and just trying to, like, <laughs> I'm using Warcraft terminology because I can't remember. But it's, like, just making, like, the peasant unit as fast as you can and, like, rushing them and stuff and... Or like doing like a reaver drop, you know? One creative nickname says, Haha, StarCraft 2 for you is the D2R for us. Both great games. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said though, I'm just like... I haven't had any desire to go back to that game over the years. D Diablo 2 was a game that I would come back to every once in a while. Taunt. Yeah. I think I want one into Taunt. And Leap as well. Okay, so we've got Leap. Taunt. This. And... This. Oh, I don't need to do that, Countess, right now. I'm just gonna skip that. But yeah, I don't know, um, it'll never be you if I really answered your question, though, or not. About this game feeling lonely. Or if I feel lonely, but... I tried to answer it as best I could as for how I understood your question. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Look. I can taunt them, and they can run to me, and then I can shoot them, like this, and then I can knock them back with the bow at the same time. 
Sweet. <laughs> Uh, one creative nick nickname says, what are you maxing for skills? Well, um, nothing much really because <laughs> there's nothing you can max. Um, no, I can do, I think I'll put enough into resistances as needed. One point wonders here, nothing into the masteries over here. Um, I'm going to do some points into leap so I can jump because leap attack actually does leap attack doesn't work if you're holding a bow so i can only do leap um and then i think what i'll else i'll do is obviously battle orders and then grim ward because i can resurrect i can uh, erect this from a corpse and all the synergy with max grim ward should be even stronger than amplify damage actually so i'll be able to dish out a lot of damage and that slows everybody in the radius too by a lot when it's maxed out so and i've never ever used grim ward before like on a build you know so i think it'll actually work out really well with this kind of a build mac says big fan of your off meta builds monk druid is really nice keep up the good work bud hundred Thanks, man. I'm glad you like the Monk Druid. That's one of my favorite ones that I have done on the channel. I think that's, that's I think that's probably like one of my most original ones too that I've done. Um, maybe next to that one could be is like my uh, Frozen Death Knight Necromancer. I hadn't really seen anyone do that before, and um, I hadn't seen anyone do the Monk Druid before either with the Passion Shillelagh, you know. Um, in utilizing the fact that Druid has really good attack frames with with staves, I haven't I hadn't seen anyone do that before, especially like human like it's human form, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you like that one. Uh, the other one that I that that's my favorite, absolute favorite though, is the Toxic Multi Shot Amazon. I think I've probably spent the most time making that one and playing that one uh, as far as off meta goes, and. I didn't like invent that character where you put poison charms in the inventory, but but I think that like me revisiting it um, was kind of big because ooh three sockets one max damage one attacker um, because like a lot of people didn't realize that you could increase the charm damage now with poison skill damage. And, and there was so much pushback that I got from people saying it didn't work and stuff, even though I was clearly demonstrating on the build that it did work. Uh, but yeah, I so that one was kind of a big deal, I thought, um, because um, I, hadn't, I hadn't seen anyone like on YouTube just making poison Amazons that were using multi-shot, you know, uh, in PVM or anything like that, so... Emperor X says, that's a good idea, especially since you could get like a couple of gold diggers or something on the offhand and use find item. Yeah. Um, on the offhand, though, I actually have an idea for what I'm going to put in the offhand. So, I'm going to get an oath and make it in, in non-ethereal base, okay? So that I can cast the level 16 heart of the wolverine to get some more attack rating and damage and the problem is though when you switch though the heart of the wolverine will disappear unless you have a wisp projector equipped right here in your ring slot so i need a i need a an oath and a wisp projector and then i'm also going to try to roll a beast um so that I can trigger Metamorphosis, the Mark of the Bear, you know? And that way I'll get my attack frames really high and our speed will be really good while we reduce physical damage and all that. So I think that's kind of what I want to try to do with the offhand is Oath and Beast. And um, that'll be the only way I can get like some extra damage and attack rating and stuff like that. Oh, don't.
Okay, we're doing good. We're doing pretty good. There we go. Chance to hit 94% after that level up. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. Shout. Let's see. Mm. I guess so. And we can get one into that. So, let me see here. Shout. Uh, here we go. A 95% chance to hit in here. Howl, Axe Mastery, Blade Mastery. Oh. Here we go. Jesse says, "What's this build going to be?" Um, let me uh, let me go back to town really quick. And Stone says, "Hmm, just found a white plus three to volcano hunters. Guys, might be worth something." Does it have sockets yet? If it's got sockets, it'll be worth more. If it's got three, so here, check it out, Jesse. Um, I'm wearing a bow. Obviously, we already have green armor. We're like Robin Hood here. Looks sweet, right? Um, so here's the thing. We have a perfect Bariza. 200% enhanced damage. It has 100% pierce. Right on the bow. And once you're leveled up to like 90. And you up this thing. The, the top end damage is like in the 500s or more. So it's pretty good. Um, even though this is like a lost item. One of those items that gets overlooked now. Um, and then I also have at level 18 the Icker Sting. And at level 20 I have a Rogue's Bow. Composite Bow. And these are both, these will both be pretty good. And we have some... We have Goblin Toes and Rattle Cage. We've got... Um, the face of horror for more damage to undead and and hit cause monster to flee. I've got knockback gloves already. And then these are just regular items that just have like a deck piece of dexterity or something or like a yeah, one dexterity, one dexterity. This has some poison on it, you know. I gave the the mercenary just this here. 15 enhanced damage, adds one to three cold, and it's got 20 poison damage over three seconds. So she's kinda like pretty strong right now which is fun and and then I had all these like no level requirement charms that I just tossed in there so but yeah so we're gonna go max max damage um Bariza barbarian so rocking a full barb build yeah pretty cool yeah and I in with enough deadly strike and crushing blow and like max damage charms it actually is going to be pretty good and then in order to get us to a comfortable damage output i am going to go pride might mercenary eventually and i will um max out grim ward 
for the enhanced damage to monsters who are within the ward, you know? And I, I, I've never used Grim Ward before, really. I just didn't really ever see why to use it, you know? But I think, it, I think it'll be good. So... What will you stack your points in? I'll put that to good use. Um, oh, I just so I just said it basically. So. I can't use that. Oh. I'll put that to good use. It'll never be used as I'm considering playing it. Should I care what class I play? I see you're bow wielding barbarian. Yeah, it'll never be you. Don't try. Don't try to do what I'm doing when you first start playing because you're gonna have a really hard time. Because I'm always, I'm usually, I'm doing like off meta stuff. I'm doing stuff that is not the most optimal. Like Barbarian doesn't even have a skill for a bow in his entire skill tree. All three trees. He has nothing. So my, I'm, I've like planned out what I'm going to do for this. So I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing. L just do like a normal build. Like like a necromancer that summons corpse that summons skeletons and corpse explodes is pretty good. Um, sorceress is kind of like like a sorceress is like the best class to start as, but if you don't know what you're doing, you could probably gonna die a lot as her. Paladin is easily the best class in the game. He has the easiest time getting resistances. Um and he can be the strongest, one of the strongest characters in the game. And he has multiple builds that are some of the best. Like a Hammerden or a Fist of Heaven's Paladin are both really good, easy to gear. So if you're going to play D2, I would, I would just go with like one of those so that you can kind of get the experience of the game. Don't, I would not recommend doing something like this. You're going to have a terrible time. Like you're not going to have fun. Okay. Uh... So Jesse, I think I covered. Just so you, Jesse, I did cover it. Just like I just see your question now. I think I told you. 20, bo 20 battle orders is what I'm going to do. Max Grim Ward with the synergy. And then enough points into natural resistance. And then that's pretty much it. That's I'll have a bunch of points left over. And then I can figure out what I need. You know? Maybe I do some frenzy stacks. Like in the offhand, you know? So I can increase my run walk or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not gonna really need the attack speed though from Frenzy because I'm gonna because the Bariza has 80% attack speed on it. It'll be never be used as I had a hard time with the sorceress. Yeah, like I said, she's she's the best character in the like one of the best characters in the game for like um, being efficient, you know, and like speed. But if you if you don't know how to play that well and you don't have you don't know what you're doing, then you could die a lot with her. But like the sorceress is capable of basically becoming immortal and never dying. Uh, if you set it up right and and then and and she has like some of the fastest clearing speeds too depending on the build you're going for so it's also like this game is like certain characters and certain builds on each character are good for certain things so th that's kind of like why it can be a little confusing too is like some builds are not meant to be able to clear all the content it's like they're just meant to be able to like farm a few different areas in the end game. So you kind of have to think about it like that too.
Come on. There we go. Could barely hit her. Hit recovery. Nathan Morris, hey, do you think it's possible to get through a hell on Pally with double hustle? Yes. Absolutely. Paladin has skills that you don't even need gear for, so it's like anything anything you suggest for the Paladin, yes, you can do it. Let's see, uh, would you... <laughs> Jesse says, basically any spellcasting class abilities are a lot easier than melee physical damage type builds because physical damage builds are much more gear dependent. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jesse. Oh, yeah. The knockback. Oh, shit. The jump, the leap away. I should take this to Charcy. <laughs> and then we're just like, oh, I should take this to Charcy. That was awesome. I was awesome. Did you not see that? Yeah. Like we're just like, whoop. <sighs> this is a mu this is how you do it. I figured it out. I've mastered the playstyle now. Okay. Well, that's cool. So, that means we need a few more points into leap, I think. There. There we go. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Would you ever play Diablo 3 having D2R or did it just become obsolete, you think? Not shitting on D3 or anything, guys, please. Um, I, I never liked Diablo 3. When it first came out, I played it a lot, put a lot of hours into it, and was just like, I like Diablo 2 better. So, I don't know. I don't really care about Diablo 3. The entire itemization and graphical style and everything completely changed in Diablo 3. It was like not even the same game to me. Um, Crouching Tiger, Slinging Arrows, <laughs> says one creative nickname. <laughs> Dude, it works. Like, bam, look at that. And, he po and I poisoned him. Ninja style. Uh, Michael, out of curiosity, what do you do for work? I know content creation isn't your main thing, you've said. Yep, Jesse, I work in the ICU and the ER. I am actually a respiratory therapist. And I work at a level one trauma hospital in, a, in downtown Detroit. Uh, Jesse says, Nathan... The player's eight is what it is. Oh, well, very hard. I, Nathan says, I want to get through it. 
Uh, Padre. What's up, Padre? Terror zones are the best thing to happen to Hardcore Nightmare. Yeah, you can actually, like, level. Padre says, I did ICU CNA. Nothing special. Oh, you're saying CNA is nothing special? That's, that's still, that's still, there. you still get to see a lot, man. What are you talking about? At least where I work, I do. I see a ton. Ton of stuff. I used to, I used to not, like, I used to not want to tell people what I did on here, but I don't care anymore. M a lot of people know anyway now, so... Oh, it's traumatic, says Padre, right out of the ER. Yeah. Hello. <sighs> yeah. There's definitely some... It's, it's, there's been some definite uh, tough, tough times over there. Especially with all the pandemic stuff, so... But yep, so that's it. All right, what level are we at? We are 10, which means I'm halfway to wearing some of the gear I want to wear. Five max damage, one to fifteen lightning. Next level, I could put this in. I think I will. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. More Nathan says, I think I'm level eighty in players eight. One act one, so also found. What a challenge. I don't want to lower the player count as I set these rules up for a challenge. Yeah, dude. Players 8, solo self found. That's tough stuff, man. That's absolutely tough stuff. The knockback on the leap. Super nice. It'll never be you, says, so you're the coolest ever. Are you talking to me or are you talking to Nathan Morris? No, mercenary, what are you doing? Get out of there. Wow, she just stood there and died. <laughs> I kind of wanted her to live a little bit longer than that, you know? Just so that she could keep using the... Um, the inner sight to lower their defense so I can hit stuff. It's like, come on. Yes. Here we go. There we go. That leap back move is hilarious. Okay, worth the build already. I know! See? Five points into leap, dude. Mana cost two. 
It's actually, I think this is what you're supposed to do with leap attack. Or with leap, I mean, not leap attack. Leap attack doesn't work with a bow. You cannot use leap attack with a bow in your hand. Whoa. Boom, and it knocks him back. And then we're just like shattering him. Look, uh-huh. Oh, dude. Can you handle the combos? Excellent, excellent combos. Just imagine when I'm fully decked out with 100% pierce on a Bariza. And my leap is maxed out. Yeah. see um he's talking to you you're the john wick of d2 oh gotcha uh well thanks man you says it'll be near you nathan moore says inner sight is awesome i crafted a blood amulet with 40 charges and it's incredible oh dude that sounds great that sounds really good like just like use it on like when you get to the champion and elite packs and just take their defense down all the way. That sounds cool. Uh, might need arrows. There we go. Boom. There we go. I just need a little bit more attack speed, and then it'll feel pretty good. Too bad I got rid of Saigon's set. That would have given me 30%. I got rid of all that on my other character, because I didn't think I would use it ever again. But oh well. Whoa, that did a lot. I think I'm going to switch bows with the mercenary and see how that goes. I think this one's a little faster. Yeah. Zaug, it was a pleasant surprise bumping into you buying my Bariza this afternoon on Tradery. Dude, I told everybody about that. Um, and when I started, I was like, I was like, it's so funny. I went on Tradery. I was like, I wonder what like a perfect Bariza would cost right now. I mean, people, people don't use it anymore. And I was like, oh, this one's going for an Ist. All right, I'll check that out. And I'm like, it says Zaug. <laughs> and I was, and then you were like, dude, is this Michael? And I'm like, yep. Let's do it, man. Let's do this. And uh, and Zaug gave me a rush on my mule. So that the barista is already socketed too, which is awesome. So that was cool, man, of you to do that. It, it took you like, it took you like five minutes to rush me. You should just go on. You should just make games saying like, "Will rush for Cham," or like for Ist or something. You know, it'd take you like five minutes, and you'd have like ten Ist runes. You know.
Not enough mana. So yeah, we're starting the barb, the barb, the bow barb. And uh, right now our best skill is like leap. Because <laughs> that's the only thing you can use with a bow on Barbarian. working how long is it gonna work uh, I don't know dear D to our dev let leap attack work with a bow <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> exactly dear D to our dev it's Michael again your friend I made a couple suggestions here it'll take you five seconds to implement them because you're an actual dev and I'm not. It's locked. It's locked. We're going to level again. Level 12. Yeah, this was a good idea. Kind of looks like it could be it, right? Or not. Dead end. Get knocked back. Cool. Glad it finally found a home. <laughs> Uh, Zalg says, I had that Breeza since the beginning of Ladder and slowly lowered my price down to Ist because no one was buying it. Dude, I mean, nobody is going to use it. Nobody. Uh, hustle exists that you can make in a bow. That will be that will be better in pretty much every way, you know, just because of the speed and, like, using it on swap. And then you're going to want to go... Like, Eagle Horn for cheaper is better. Um, obviously, there's hot, there's Wind Force and Faith. So, those are really good. Um, there's the Ice Bow for the Ice Sun. There's Lycanders, which has four to all skills, essentially. Even, even Blood Raven's Charge has four to all skills. Um, trying to think if I'm forgetting anything, really. But there's just so many other options now. And crossbows don't have the best frames. Even though Bariza has 80% increased attack speed, it's kind of like capped, you know? Like, it can't it can't reach as fast as other bows can, which is kind of unfortunate. But, um, like, it kind of seems like if you have enough attack speed, you should be able to just kind of get there anyway. But it's, it is it is what it is. It's part of the itemization, which is a good and a bad thing at the same time. But, um... It does have it does have good damage though the Bariza. like it does have really high damage and it does have 100% pierce and freezes target, so that's kind of cool.
Oh, there you go. Inner sight. I was waiting for her to do that. I can hit everything when she does that, it seems like. One max damage on the amulet. Upgrade. Okay. Whoop. Open and close the door. There we go. Oh no. Only problem is my mercenary keeps getting stuck as like the as she keeps getting aggroed because I like leap away. So, but that'll be better once I have a tankier mercenary. It'll be fine then. The other thing we can roll with this character would be peace. The peace rune word has crit strike and the Valkyrie on strike. So that'll be good. Slow missiles when struck too. That'll be good for this character. Here you go, Bone Ash. Uh, Just snipe him. There we go. So cold and damp under the earth. So cold and damp under the earth. Thirty percent extra gold from monsters. Chip diamond. Here we go. Look at this helmet now. 5 max damage, 1 to 15 lightning, 20 poison damage over 2 seconds, cold res 11. Not bad, right? For a level 11 helm. Level 16, we can use that one. Probably going to have to get another um, piece of armor, actually, to do that. The order welcomes you. Okay, we'll sell that. And that's okay, that's okay. The life still will be a little bit nice once I get there. Um Is there a better belt or something I can get now? It'll never be used as, bro, this is the best stream on YouTube, legit. <laughs> I feel like you're kind of gaslighting me now with that, but okay. <laughs> mm, let's see. Two sockets on this one. Two on that one. Mm. Yeah, okay. I don't know what the other guys are doing. Hmm. Good evening. I wish I could hear your tone of voice. It'll never be you. That would be nice sometimes. <laughs> hey, this one's a little better. Uh, hit recovery. Nah. Charge bolt when struck. No. I think he is luring you to play StarCraft 2. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Uh, okay. Might as well put one into stamina. Find item. Uh, I guess we'll put one into that. If I re hopefully I'll remember to even use it. Okay, so let's do that. Okay.
laughing my ass off. Starcraft is a different atmosphere, says it'll never be you. Yeah, what do you mean by that? I promise I'll join in on YouTube streaming eventually so to get to you. Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I mean, Diablo 2 nowadays is mostly more chill because people grew up, you know? And it's not as competitive as something like StarCraft. Most of the time, outside of PvP at least, even PvP, like, people are just, like, cool about it, I would think. Um, but yeah, most, most of the time, people are just, like, having fun with the game. Everyone is, like, older now. Um, the only time I ever see people being dicks are on Reddit. Somehow. Somehow they still decide to be dicks on Reddit. About a video game. But, like... I don't, it doesn't matter, you know. I've gotten over it. That was good. Dire Drool. The Mad. That was sweet. The, dude, how handy. Oh, this has one max damage and attack rating. Upgrade. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, StarCraft is hyper most times. D2R is just there. Yeah. Yeah, it'll never be you. I, 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 you're, you're not really as into it. So that's how it's going to feel for you. Like if I watched a StarCraft, you, if I watched you play StarCraft right now, I would not give a shit at all. You know? Like I would not care. So it kind of depends on if you know anything about the game or not, you know? You can chill in StarCraft, but you gotta have a plan from the start. Yeah, I remember. I used to play it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. But yeah, but that's what I like about D2, man. It's just chill. You can just chill and play it. The game does have moments where it can be intense. And the, ga like, the game will like, kind of throw you a curveball once in a while. But you kind of know what to look out for, though, now. Once you've played it a lot. If you haven't played D2R for like 10 years, like a lot of us though, it's actually really hard. Learning how to get through hell, etc. Yeah. I This game, when it f originally came out, man. Uh, like when I was a kid, this game was like impossible. <laughs> and 
And yeah, I have a I have a buddy who played this for the first time like last year and he was like he loved it. He thought it was such a great game and he said it was so hard. And it's because he just doesn't know any of he doesn't have any knowledge of the game. And that's what's fun about it is the more you know about it, the better it gets. You can actually enjoy playing it more the more you know how to do things and like what the items do and like what the mechanics are. That's why I like it so much. There's so many possibilities with things in it. Okay. Knowledge is power in this game. Uh, yeah, I think this is the game I was considering Asian MMOs, but it never feels free. I think this game gives you a lot of choices. You either need knowledge or two griefs. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, just... Just hero edit yourself two griefs, and then you don't need to... Actually, though, you'd still... I think you'd still die, because you need more stuff than that. <laughs> you don't if you don't know how whirlwind works, you know. If you don't know how to If you don't know how to do a triangle pattern with whirlwind. This is good. Ugh. Oh yeah! Did you see the strats there? What kind of insane strats? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That was hilarious. Jumping across the screen and just shooting her with the slowing effect of this and the cold effect of this. To get... It really slowed her down a lot. If you like tinkering and stuff, this is a good game to do so forever, says one creative nickname. Yeah. I don't ever be you, says D2 feels like a free world still. Um, it's, there's like a lot, there's just like a lot you can do in the game in terms of characters and builds and how to build up the characters, but, but I don't know. Once you, once you know the structure of the axe, it's, it doesn't seem like it's a free world or anything. It just kind of feels... It just is fun that when you start a new game or, st or start a new run, there is a element of randomness to the drops and to the mapping. And the way the game chooses what drops and what rolls is really interesting, too. It depends on, like, how much inventory space you have. Like, if you've moved stuff in your stash. Like, if you're moving left or right if you you know wait too long and stuff and then like all these the rng changes as you are are choosing all of those things in real time so that's that's kind of nuts you know and that's why i think it feels pretty fresh when you play a new game on it all the time too and then it just has stuff in it that's like you'll be playing this game for years and you'll be like i've never found that before like, what is that? So, that's kind of cool, too. Gaming with Jeeps. D2R is an amazing game. Most enjoyable in D2R. More enjoyable in D2R. D3 has a similar experience. D4 as well. It's D4. <laughs> I, I still, I mean, one day I should try D4. Because I've seen it. 
I've seen a lot of people complain about it. I've watched people talk about it. And one day when they... It seems like they've, they've done a better job of it lately, but... One day I will, like, give it a shot, I think, and just see what I think about it, you know? Uh, those could be cute. Uh, whatever. We're not gonna need him. Let's just forget it. We're gonna be high enough level soon enough to use something like this. So we didn't do the den because we don't really need to. We'll skip the book of skill for now as well. Yes, lots of RNG. If you like RNG, then this is the game for you. D4 misses the feeling of gaining progression. Oh, really? That sucks. This game this game has has really nailed progression. You feel you're always incrementally getting stronger and then you have big jumps where you get stronger and it feels pretty good when you do. find item is not really that good yeah doesn't really happen very often so dead end If you aren't constantly updating your gear, you go backwards in D4. Because the enemies scale with you and stuff. Okay. I'll play it when it's $20, says I'll never be you. <laughs> Gaming with Jeep said agreed when beep bop beep boop said <laughs> D4 misses the feeling of progression. So that seems to be so far a couple people have agreed that the feeling of progression is not correct in D4. I, I think Path of Exile 2, man, is gonna be the game that will uh be one of those games that's like D2, you know? It'll be like It'll, it'll just have that, like, kind of lasting appeal, I think. And kind of innovation. I think that's what D Path of Exile 2 will be like. Ah, oh, shoot, the mercenary. Come on, mercenary. Let's go. Here we go. It'll never be you, says RNG makes me excited in my pants. <laughs> Instead of random number generator, it's what? Random boner generator? <laughs>
two-piece thesaurus would actually be really useful. It's got attack rating. Don't have that right now. <clears throat> I don't have it, though. Oh, well. Hit recovery, cold resist. Try that. Mm. Uh, Saug says, Path of Exile 2 looks leaps and bounds ahead of any other hack and slash game. Yeah, I think it looks really good. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. Bibby, what's up, man? Well, apparently it's really, really hard. D2's longevity comes from how rare and difficult to obtain good items are. I think Path of Exile 2, though, will have lots of builds that you could make, you know? I think that'll keep it kind of going. I actually used to play Dark Souls a lot, like Dark Souls two and three uh because there were so many builds i was like trying to make and stuff i really liked it i liked the pvp a lot in that too i used to play that a lot and then uh let's see what else mm, i need like a 48 strength And Bibby, it said it's really, really hard, but I think it's just, there's just going to be a learning curve, you know? Like, I don't think it's going to be, like, impossibly hard. I just think that you're just going to have to learn the mechanics a little bit better and learn the bosses. Beep Boop says, Last Epoch was a nice mix of D2, D3, but it missed out on group play and having a meta. Huh. Zog says, you should stream Elden Ring. Yeah, dude, I have it, and I, I started a character, and then... I played Diablo 2 instead. <laughs> that was why I didn't play Elden Ring, is because I was just kept playing D2. I was I just kept feeling like playing this all the time. And so I was like, eh. You know? So I, I stayed on D2 for a while. Uh But yeah, Elden Ring, I I should I should probably play that eventually. I really liked... I, re I love Dark Souls games. I loved Sekiro. I loved Bloodborne. I, I got into, like, even PvP and Bloodborne. Um, and stuff like that. I really liked it. I think it's time to replace the mercenary with somebody better. So, let me resurrect her and see if she... What does she have again? This. This. That, okay. Does he, do we have Blessed Aim? Oh, yeah, here we go. Blessed Aim. Defiance, Blessed Aim. Ilzan. Let's get Ilzan. Here you go, dude. Take that. That. Bloodborne Aesthetics goaded, says Bibby. Yeah, I really, I really got into those. I liked, I liked those games a lot, man. I liked the kind of loop and the level design and everything. I liked how you could find gear in like in specific places actually, and then, and then when you started like other characters, you would try to like rush to those places so you could get the build going. You know, I used to do that a lot. Stony Tomb. I don't really need to go there yet.
Okay, I think we have enough leap for now, so we'll just leave it. Screw it. Just put it all in dexterity. There we go. There. Now we have a 90% chance to hit with blessed aim and all that dex I just put in. So that's good. Mm. That didn't work. I played Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring. Eventually, I want to go back and play Bloodborne. I hear such good things about it. It's good, man. They're all... I mean, all those games are good. Uh, Bloodborne doesn't have, like, a shield in the game, you know? I think there might be one or something, but... every Bloodborne's all about timing, like, dodging, you know? Uh, they don't want you to... Use a shield, really. And it's, like, about... It's kind of about, like, getting an opening to, like, stagger them. Sometimes. Uh, I mean, there's lots of different builds in that game, but... Like, you want to, like... Take an opportunity to be aggressive in Bloodborne a lot of times. And that's usually the best route. Like, you can't just, like, kind of backpedal. And actually, I kind of need life. You can't really, like, just backpedal a lot like you can in, like, Dark Souls and just, like block stuff and you know like you want to like parry and and use like your your offhand weapon to like stagger them and stuff so it's really good though There we go. Uh, so, if that hasn't spoiled for you, the experience will be lit. Let's see what. Uh, um, the twist in the story archetype was amazing. I hear the Dark Souls before three didn't get didn't age very well. Um. Yeah, I, it probably... I don't know. I haven't gone back and played Dark Souls 1 and 2. Or and I've never played Demon Souls, even though they remastered it. I think those games are still probably really good. It's just that you have to... It's kind of like how Resident Evil is good. Resident Evil 4. It's like... Uh, it's still a good game, even though it's got, like, tank controls. You know? Can't, I, I wish you could jump up there with a barbarian. You can't. You can do that. <laughs> there we go. I should probably check that. This might be better than what I have. 
48 attack rating. Yeah. That's gonna help more. There, now we're at a th over a thousand attack rating. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Ross Erickson says, Let's go! Yeah, dude, we're rolling a barb. Uh, bow barb. I've got enough gear from my assassin, I think, to make it work. So. And this is ladder, of course. So this is only the only other character I have. This is our main strat right here. You just leap away and then shoot at them. And we have knockback and slow target with Clegg Loss. So, and it's pretty fun. that there grab that okay waypoint thank you let's see if i can make the mercenary survive this time that would be nice he kind of needs a weapon though i don't think i gave him one yeah that'll probably help let's see uh what do you got two sockets on that one Whatever, this is cheap, and it'll probably be good enough for now. So we'll just do that. Kind of look the part right now, too. Thanks. Beetle burst. There he is. Nice. That leveled me up, too. And here's blade poison. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just going to keep putting it into dexterity for now. Hmm. There's not much else to really do for this, so. Mm-hmm. Level 15. Okay, so we could use this. Will that be... I don't know. It might not be better, actually. Let's see. 90% to hit. Let's see if I go to this. 90%. Okay, it's the same. So, <laughs> one to all skills. But we don't need that. But there is a little life still now, so that's kind of good. Uh, um, so that... That might be all right. We don't have a whole lot of damage though to actually build on the life steal, but let's just see. See how it see how it goes. got nuked again. Here, rune. Not like we need it, but whatever. Just gonna keep moving to the lost city here. I uh, I don't remember if I got the waypoint actually for the far oasis, but whatever. There we go. That actually works out really well when I do that. If I use the um, taunt, they kind of just stop what they're doing and just start walking towards me. And I can see them, too. It kind of illuminates them with that thing above their head. Mm -mm, starting to not be able to hit now. Hmm. 
Maybe we need Battle Cry eventually for the defense. Might need that. 50 attack rating with an L rune. Hmm. There we go. We did get the far oasis. Okay, good. Getting him? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Lightning resist 15. Hmm. With all those bugs. And yeah, whatever. Just take the damage for now. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We can get rid of that as well. Don't need that. Don't need that. Or that. I don't have an armor to put that in yet. Why did that cost so much? Were there char oh, there were charges on this. That's why. I was going to say, what the heck? Yeah, there were charges on the ring. <laughs> Charge bolt. Level 1. It's already, like, useless, you know? Ten percent increased attack speed. Okay, go yeah, we'll do that one now. Let's try that one. I'll put that to good use. Uh. Poison res requirements. Eh. Okay, let's just go. Alrighty, here we go. Charm. All right. Poison res three. Three more levels and I can use an, a better bow that pierces and has dexterity and it's got faster attack speed and everything so we'll see how that one goes that'll be cool um, it's like a bow that I, I don't think I've ever used it ever 
the Icker string. Icker sting. I keep calling it string, but it's sting. The Icor sting. There, finally. His his blessed aim finally kicked in right there. It took a long time. I don't know why it doesn't just start right when you hire him. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The knockback is so good. I love that. There we go. That's a good way to do it. If I use Taunt, they like run away from the mercenary a little bit and then he can hit them as they're passing him. That's kind of cool. Okay. Back up to 90 now. For a chance to hit. think okay. I'm just gonna wait there's not really anything to put my points into <laughs> for a while another like eight levels mm. 95% chance to hit with blessed aim there we go And now we're 87. What happened? 91. These guys we can hit. For some reason, the snakes are really easy to hit. We have 95% chance with Blessed Aim to hit them. I don't know why they're so much easier, but whatever. Feels good, though, when you <laughs> connect on them. Uh-oh. Look out, Mercenary. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I kind of just left him out there. Oh well. There's Fang skin. Just died. Okay. Um. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's like, don't die, Mercy. Oh, okay. Whatever. Sorry, man. I was up here. Didn't get him. 
there. It is good to know that the sun shines once again. The sun shines once again. All right. Fifty attack rating. Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Of the cube or anything. Mm, dry hills. So let me grab the cube. I grabbed the last thing first. Uh, must be in here somewhere. There we go. I at least want to get to 18 before I get to the maggot lair. Because the weapon has pierce on it that I'm going to use. So that's kind of what I'm... I'm hoping I can get two levels before that. Let's see. Quite a lot of uh, density in here. For our build right now, at least. It's Mind white, the grim. I don't really need those.
They're strong. Okay. I might have to do like Tristram or something a couple times. I'll try the opposite way. that Atlantis I wonder if I should make a barb next I think I'm going to what are you gonna go with though don't do two-hander whirlwind <laughs> more of a stereotypical one though I've never I've only ever made one right now I just have one for battle ordering he sucks as a character overall yeah I've made one like that too where I I had like level 50 battle orders or something I was like going into games and just like I do like a run with somebody and they kept overriding my battle orders you know and I was and I was like guys my battle order is level 50 <laughs> and they're like Oh, yeah, stop, stop casting yours. And then I respect the character to a bunch of other stuff later. <laughs> yup, LOLs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was that. How did we not hit him? 95% chance, bro. Where's that 95% chance? <sighs> okay. But yeah, I think, um, I think... I think it would be fun just just to do like a whirlwind. Dude, like whirlwind is actually a really fun ability if you have dual wielding in the max frames. 
and some crushing blow. It's actually really good. That's like kind of all you need. It's just max frames, crushing blow, fast weapon. You know, and you're and it's good. It's a fun. It's a fun build. And like, who cares if you have to like make grief to enjoy it or something? Like, go for it. You know. Cube. There we go. Now I can item find, you know? I don't have to sit there and put stuff on here. Why would I want to do that? I don't have a uh, armor for that. That would help. That would make me stronger. Okay, we'll level 16 still. Dang it. Um, I think now would be a good time. Let me think. Well. Let's go. Yeah, let's do Radiment. Because I'd like to level up a couple times before getting stuck in the Maggot Lair. I am overburdened. Burdened. It's kind of what he sounds like. I like the druid though. Thanks. area is actually good now. I'm glad I saved this. Seven <laughs> percent enhanced damage. It's not a lot. Rampeth. Hey man. Playing streaming a lot lately. Always enjoy watching. Thanks buddy. Yeah, I've just been wanting to, like, keep going on the ladder, you know? Because my assassin was going so good. And uh, I decided to just roll another character because I had some gear for it. And uh, Zaug had, had a perfect Bariza on Tradery since the beginning of the ladder, he said. And I was looking for one, so I, because uh, I had the idea to make this character, you know? And I was like, oh, there's one. And then it turned out it was Zaug <laughs> who was selling it, which was hilarious. I was like, oh, what's up, man? You know? Um, so that was kind of cool. And he said he, he was, like, just holding on to it. He kept lowering the price because nobody wanted it. So I, I traded an ist for it. Um, and so I got that in the stash, and then he gave me a rush with a mule, and I have a socket in the Bariza already. So, old school item, dude. It's going to be an old school item on a Barbarian, you know? We're going to have Bariza, 100% pierce. The max damage when we get to, like, I don't know, like level 90, you know, on it, it's going to be, like, in the 500s or something. So, that should be cool. And... Right now, you know, we don't have any run walk of any kind, so we're just, we're just kind of like jogging, I should say. And we have lots of skill points because it's like, what do you do? Um, since like none of the barb's skills really work with a bow, all I can really do is leap, um, and then I can use like taunt which is kind of good actually for this or I could use howl 
which is kind of nice because then they send it sends them away and I can shoot them in the back like that, which is cool. Um, and then there's, yeah, leap, taunt, howl. There's like, what, find item or something. Should I wear, should I do this now? Poison res, damage reduction. And we'll keep this on. What does a uh, mercenary have though? I'll put that to good use. Attack rating. Oh wait, maybe I should try. I'll try this one out for a little bit. Fourteen, sixteen, or what? Fourteen. It's the same. It's like the not not much of a difference. But yeah, so like the shouts, like that I have, like the howl and stuff, that kind of helps. I always I forget that I even have this one right now. But, and then Grim Ward, I think, would be kind of good with this build. Because I can sit back and shoot somebody, get the ward going, and then they'll all be slow and, like, walking away, and I can just shoot them all. Especially if I, like, kite them later on when I have 100% pierce. I think that might be kind of fun. So, we'll see how it goes. The Monk Barb was one of my favorite builds, and it rocked the Brand Demon crossbow. Yeah, and it, I had a Phoenix Shillelagh on that one with with Leap Attack and Whirlwind. So Phoenix Shillelagh and Brand Bow and on a Monk Barbarian, dude. That was sweet. It's, it, it was like I had so much, you know... <laughs> Enhanced damage on that build trying to make it as good as possible and it was like I think I remember being like oh if you have like If you have like tons of damage and speed and amp damage and everything then like two-handed whirlwind can be all right But like you need everything just to make it all right Um Zaug battle cry is a decent skill for tough monsters too even as one point wonder Yeah, because I can reduce their damage and defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have to get kind of close to them, but that's what I could just use it and then jump away and then shoot them. So. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. Okay. Whoops. Yeah. So, in next level, we're going to get a, a new bow that, uh, should it's got 50% pierce so I mean it should like help it's it should shoot faster than this one I'm hoping it's a crossbow though so we'll see but it's got attack speed on it That was cool. It's cool if I can taunt them and they run, they start walking towards me and then I knock them back. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's, it's kind of fun. I'm like using these <laughs> barbarian skills that I like never, never really use at all. That was cool. Made him like walk into the mercenary's spear. Merc's doing good with that. 10%, only 10% increase attack speed, but it actually looks pretty fast. Yeah, see? T 
It's like it looks pretty fast. For just 10%. All right, here we go. This is probably not going to be good. Don't die, dude. Oh, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> One hit point. Yep. Good evening. Greetings. Mm. There's nothing the right portion can cure. Okay. We got him. And let's talk to her, I guess, so we can get the quest completed. There. Nice. And six points remaining. You need 40 strength for that. Ooh. I should probably put that in there then. Uh, and then what about this one? 110. Yes, citizen. So, okay. So we're still not quite there. But, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep... Unless there's just something... How about I do... Yeah, I want to level up. So let me go back here really quick. And I feel like this will be... This will be alright. If I go here and just like... Try to do the pit or something. Maybe that'll get me... The one more that I want. Yeah, thanks for uh, checking out the stream, guys. If you're just uh, checking in. I've seen some people have been coming and going and stuff like that. But yeah, if you're if you don't know like what we're doing here or what you if you're interested, just let me know. I can tell you what the build is and all that if you want. But yeah, we're just on the ladder, rolling my second character on there. We have a green bow and green armor. Brown cap. Doing looking like Robin Hood out here. Buff Robin Hood. Here we go. Are you going to do wisdom on the barb helm? I could. 
But I don't know if it's going to be necessary because you can use the the Bariza at like pretty pretty uh, mid level, which has 100% Pierce, which I have in the stash. So I'll... yeah. So I don't think I need to. I'm just trying to gain one level right now. Before I go into the maggot lair and get, you know, have to like shoot down a hallway for a long time. The next weapon that I can get at level 18 does have pierce on it. And it's a, it's a unique crossbow that I found on my assassin. Um, I found that and then I found... I found the Rogue Composite Bow, which you can use at level 20, which has really fast attack speed. It's going to make... The build's going to feel a lot better once I equip that. But I think Wisdom in a Barb Helm, if I had a Wind Force... For like later on that would be pretty good or if like a faith bow or something like that uh, but I don't have one of those right now on ladder but yeah and I'm gonna want basically like for the build I'm looking for large charms that have six max damage attack rating on them they don't have to even have anything else. And I, I'm pretty sure that 6 max damage with attack rating is worth like an Ist rune, maybe. Maybe less, depending on if somebody's just trying to get rid of them. They're not quite as valued as the small charms or the really nice large charms, you know? Um, so, I'm thinking that like if I can get my hands on some, some of those, it'll be good enough, you know? And that will that will help out a lot. So, if anyone has like six max damage large charms that they don't they don't want, they're either willing to part with them, or if they want to wait till I get some runes or something or whatever, definitely will take those. VPR says, "I love your live streams, man. Thanks, VPR. Keep it up." What's the plan for the Merc setup? Says Travis. Uh... So the best thing for me for this build in the long run is going to be Pride and Might, big time. Pride, Mike, Mer uh, Pride, Might, Mercenary. Um, and then his armor, I could just go with Treachery for budget. And then whatever helmet I can get Lifesteal on for him, at the, you know. Um, I think that's all I'm going to really need for this build. Four to attack rating with gold. It's not good enough. But yeah, wind forces are surprisingly cheap, says Zaug. I see one on trader um, Mal for Tradery. Yeah, I want to try to use the Breeza first, though. You know, just because it's got the pierce, dude. And I'll be able to use G-Face then. And I won't, you know, because I won't need the pierce. So, hey, a spear. This is rare. And that's got... That's better. See, Mercenary's got an upgrade. 10% increased attack speed, 70% enhanced damage, 2 to minimum, 1 to 4 fire. Dude, he's going to be murdering everything now, I bet. Watch. Can you show me the bow you're using, please? Yes. Superior longbow. 15% enhanced damage, 1 to 3 cold damage, 20 poison damage over 3 seconds. And then I've got a helm with 5 max damage, 1 to 15 lightning, 20 poison damage over 2 seconds. Oh, okay, just starting. Yeah, dude, I'm level 17. And I've got a armor that's got two chipped emeralds in it. Because it's green, and that matches our bow right now. So our barbarian looks... Like a ranger now. Which is cool.
But yeah, we don't like we don't have any run walk. Like we're not we're we're really slow right now. Well, we didn't really get... Backtracking here wasn't really that good, except for getting the upgrade for the mercenary. So... Okay. It'll never be you is back. And he says, Yo, nice hair, bro. Thank you. I think. I can't tell your tone of voice. <laughs> You're mocking me? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Damn. Damn reduction, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna sell this. Oh, hi there. That's hilarious. VPR says, ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha. I would never mock John Wick of YouTube gaming. All right. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, man. Guns. Lots of guns. Yeah. Hustle on a bow, what do you think? Yeah, I think that would that would work. VPR says I'm the opposite. No more hair. Max says John Wick of D2R LOL. I like Keanu. He's cool. I love the first Matrix movie. It's excellent. Alright, well. I guess we're just gonna have to go here. I, I didn't get as much as I thought I would. I guess I guess I could just jump over everything. It'll never be used as I watched John Wick for the first time, and it's better than the original Matrix. Uh, I mean. There's probably some elements of it that are that you could uh, compare, I guess, about being better or not. But I don't know, man. First Matrix movie is like iconic. Zalog says first Matrix is in my top ten greatest movies ever. Yeah. My younger sis my youngest sister said she had never seen the Matrix and I was like you've never seen the Matrix? I was like, "Well, next time you come over, that's what we're doing. We're going to watch the Matrix cuz it's going to be awesome. You've never seen it. Like that's a great position to be in for that movie." I still remember seeing that movie for the first time actually cuz I was I was a lot younger, and I, I went to the theater not knowing what the hell it was at all. I, I actually didn't even want to see it, because I was like, I don't know, it doesn't look, like, I don't know what the Matrix is. You know, and it's not like, it wasn't like, back then, you didn't just see everything on the internet all the time and know what everything is already. So it was like, I really didn't know what it was. And I remember, like, I wanted to see The Mummy, that's what it was. I wanted to see The Mummy with, with, um, what's his name, Brendan Fraser. And so we saw The Matrix instead, me and a friend. And I remember just being like, dude, this is the craziest movie. Like, I... And I really, really liked the seriousness of it. And the stakes. And the philosophical questions it posed. And then, of course, just the action sequences were like... Not, no other movie had done that before. 
Um, and then every movie afterwards did what The Matrix did, of course. You know, it was like all of them are doing it now. But it was really good, though, when it first came out. It was really nice. Okay, so that was a nice upgrade. And... Ten strength, ten dex, attack rating at level fifteen, and we're level seventeen. This is eighteen. Okay, we can get a hundred attack rating on our armor with this at the next level, so that'll be good. And then this will be accessible very soon, and that's no good. So let's put this in here. Yeah, and let me buy bolts so that I'm ready for it. it won't, won't let me, really. Um, let's see. Pitter, both very good. It'll never be used as Keanu is a genius. Yeah, I really like his performance in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. 69, dudes! It'll never be used as 69. Yeah, that's what I just said. Well, you just said Keanu's a genius, dude. That that was one of his uh, roles in in it was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and he, they say that in the movie. So, I am overburdened. Now we're good. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at this. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> let, we'll let him go first. Oh boy. He's so dead. I guess that's why. Oh, jeez. Chuko Nu, flickering flame on a barb helm. What do you think? Um... I think um, Double Billy is already doing that build. So I'm going to try something different, you know.
Is Alex says, I really liked Keanu's character in Cyberpunk, too, although he got a lot of mixed reviews there. I didn't play that game. There was so much... There was so much controversy around it with its launch. I had no desire to try it because of... Like, I saw so much bad, like, stuff with it that I was just like, I don't think I really want to buy that. You know? And then when they fixed it or whatever, it wasn't like I was ready to go give it a try or whatever. So I just didn't... All right, here we go. Ick or Sting. It'll never be you. Cyberpunk is not a movie, it's a game. Ooh, there we go. Cool. 50% pierce, 50% damage, 50 to attack rating, 30 poison damage over three seconds. 20% increased attack speed, 20 dex. That's good for us right now, look at that. That's nice. And then I can put this in here. Yeah. Okay, so now this armor has 100 attack rating. 20 poison damage and 1 mana after each kill. Nice little armor at 18 for this. Cool. Alright, now... Let's see. Let's see if our... Barb is gonna start to come together now. Or we're just gonna, like, die right away. Nice, dude. It pierced. <sighs> It'll never be you, says... I really liked Keanu when he was playing StarCraft 2 once. Alright. StarCraft 2, huh? Keanu Reeves plays bass in a band. Did you know that? And he's like, he's like, you know, like he's good at it. He's not like bad, but he's not like amazing or anything. He's just like, he's like good. He's decent. And he's really chill about it. I can. But no, The Matrix movie, man, is really good. It's like an awesome movie. It's easily... Like one of my, I think I think it's got to be one of my favorite movies, honestly. Welcome to the desert of the real. So many like quotable lines, so many interesting things to think about with it. I like it. I love it. It's probably what's gonna happen to us once we create AI. You know. <laughs> Yo, Akeem, why the F are you wearing a crossbow on a barb? Ah, <laughs> uh, isn't it obvious? I found an Icar sting, and therefore, I needed to reason to use it. When have you ever used that item for anything? The only thing I could think of is that you needed to level a barb. Makes sense, says Joachim. Yeah. And also, Joachim, I have a perfectly rolled Beriza in the stash with a socket in it. 
thanks to uh, Zaug having it on Tradery since the ladder started. <laughs> so I gave uh, I gave him an ist for it, since nobody wanted it except me. I'm the only person in the world playing Diablo 2 that wanted that Bariza. Two hundred percent Bariza. Imagine how valuable that would have been back in the day. You'd have been like a kid dreaming of getting a 200% Bariza at school, you know? You'd be like, I need to get home so I can grind, so I can get a two, so I can hopefully find a Bariza, and it rolls 200%. So anyway, I'm going old school with it, and we're gonna do it with a barb. Low that bury right now. Exactly. See, Yo Kim, you understand. I'm going to put a low rune in it as well. That was, that's the plan. And then I can... I already have a G face on my assassin for more deadly strike and crushing blow. And then I just need to get like gore riders and a high lords, which shouldn't be too hard. And then I'll be able to have... So with, with Gore Riders, High Lords, G-Face, and a low in the Bariza, I think my crush, my Deadly Strike will be like 83% or something. By the time I'm like level 90, you know, I want to say. I don't know what the... Somewhere around there because the... Uh, what do you call it? The High Lords scales or whatever with your level. So... And then I just need a bunch of large charms that have six max damage on them. So if I do that. So if I do that, I think I can actually get decent damage. And then I can go pride might on the mercenary. You know? And I have knockback gloves already. So that's kind of sweet. We got Clegg Laws. And look at the helm. 5 max damage, 1 to 15 lightning, 20 poison, 11 cold res. And look at the armor. 100 attack rating, 20 poison damage, 1 man after each kill. Isn't this sick? I've got the Eye of Etlich for lifesteal. A little cold damage. 48 attack rating. 50 attack rating with cold res. Hit recovery. Hit recovery. Dude, we're like... Our character is absolutely insane already, you know? <laughs> Just found a 5-5 five, five fire facet, says Travis. Any idea what they're worth? Yeah. I would put... Perfect facets, dude, are like burr-worthy. Burr or sir, says Joachim. Yeah. If it's lightning, it's like jaw, you know? Like two burr or jaw. So yeah, we're level 18. At level 20, I can use the Rogue's Composite Bow. And if I want, I could use this as well at level 20. A little more damage to Undead. But I kind of like this setup actually right now. And then I got the Bariza right here. So, but yeah, so I found this, I found this, I found this. And I was just thinking... It would be more lifesteal? I don't know. I was just thinking it would be fun to roll a bow barb. And then I do have goblin toes and rattle cage. So there's that too. Um, Gotta get you cow kings for set for some run walk. That would be nice. I've never actually found the entire cow king set. I think I found the armor piece. And that's it. Excellent. Nasty level 11 helm. Yeah. Uh, get a Nagel for AR. I don't have one right now though, but... Yeah, I think I can just power through for a while.
And we have no pants. See? No pants. We just have like a kilt or something. A robe. A tunic. The dolls could be sick for leveling. Yeah, I know. Don't have any of that though either. I think I found the boots at one point with my assassin this ladder and I was just like, what do I need those for? You know? I don't need them. And uh, now I kind of need them. But oh well. Damn, dude. These guys are freezing me pretty bad. So if I use like my taunts and stuff too, check it out. I can taunt him and bring him to me while and shoot him, and my knockback knocks him back while he's trying to walk towards me, which is kind of cool. Here we go. See. Taunt him. Shoot him. This thing has pierce on it too. Too bad I gave up all my, like, Saigons, you know? I did have several pieces of that. Hmm, where's the dude? Kind of want to... Where's that? There he is. Here's a belt. Nice. Just what we needed. Kathan's mask ring, full of dollar set. What would that two-piece Kathan's give? Death's glove belt. Yeah. All of that would be nice. I don't have that on ladder, though. So I'm just... This is what I got. Clegg Laws. <laughs> or even Hasaris's just belt and boots would have been nice for the attack rating and stuff. But, but remember, that the Bereza has like 80% attack speed on it, so... Can you see? Can you see how it's working? Uh, two piece Kathans gives huge defense, bonus strength, life still in fire. Oh, okay, got it. You know, I don't think I've ever used two piece two piece Kathans before in my life. <laughs> like not intentionally, you know. <laughs> so that's good to know. This, this is nice. 50% pierce for these hallways.
It's actually extremely powerful. Okay. I believe you. I know you know what you're talking about. All of that at level 14. <laughs> yeah, so Vidal is 50% pierce, 75 AR, 148 max cold, 7 mana steel freeze target, 10 strength, 15 dex, fools mod, and a bunch of random resists. Right. I have, I do have, I have used that before, full of a Dallas set, when leveling a character. Uh, I guess let's buy more bolts in case we run out. There we go. Whoops. Death gloves are also crazy paired with belts. Yeah, I've used that combination for sure. That one's really good. Cannot be frozen, all res, massive poison res, uh, 30 IAS, right? Yeah, it's so good. Pretty sure you can do hell with just those set items. Yeah. Yeah, two-piece deaths is great, and then you can up it nowadays with, those, with, with how they patched that in last year, so that's really good. For the belt, at least. One max damage. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One energy. Level 19, we can almost... Um, our life is 107. I haven't put any points into Vitality yet. Pretty much all just to use the gear for strength and then the rest I put into Dexterity. again so five life sealed fate says late night vibes with a heart finger emoji Good to see you. yeah a little bit I guess huh All right. 
there are so many versions of Mosaic Assassin, says Zombus. There are? And to me, it always looks like there's all of the spells happening at once. <laughs> I, I guess I haven't looked closely enough. Can you can you elaborate at all? Mihara Gaming says Bobarb with a heart. Yes, dude. I found I found some unique crossbows like this one. And I found the what is it? I don't know. I found a couple low level jewels and stuff that make for some decent helms. Like look at this. Don't look too close, says Joachim. You might go blind for the mosaic assassin. Yeah. So here's the helm, Mihara. 5 max damage, 1 to 15 lightning, 20 poison damage over 2 seconds. Here's the armor, 100 attack rating, 20 poison damage over 2 seconds, 1 man after each kill. And then I've got the Icker Sting, which has 50% pierce, 30 poison damage, 50% damage, 50 attack rating. 20 dex, 20 increased attack speed. And we have Clegg Laws for knockback and slow. And then just uh, AR ring, random belt, random boots, Eye of Etlich I found. And then just like no level requirement charms for resists and some max damage. Couple life charms or like barely anything. So that's all I have right now. But in the stash we have more stuff too that we can use soon. Level 20 I can I can use the rogue's composite bow. Which is a really fast shooting bow. I don't think it has pierce on it though but that's okay. I think it'll probably be more comfortable to use. But yeah, the fun thing about the bow barb is that you just have so many skill points. <laughs> so you're just gonna like, you can just kind of play around with all these different taunts and howling and stuff. And then I, the Grim Ward I think is gonna be interesting to use because that can do more than, that can do more damage than amp damage actually if you max it out. So I'm kind of interested to see how that goes with that. What's the end game concept? Um, Paladin says, Billy, is that you? This is not the Fire Ranger, okay? Not that. It's not that. It's just that I found all these bows and so I decided to make this character on ladder instead of a non-ladder. And um, what's the end game? Grim Ward is the shit, says Mihara. <laughs> I've, dude, I've like never used it really. Uh, not, not actually. I never tried to use it, like maxing it out. Um, what's the end game concept? So the end game concept is gonna be like Bereza upped. It's a perfect one that's rolled. I traded for it with Zaug. He had it on tra tradery for a long time. Uh, I already have a G face. I need High Lords and Gore Riders for all the deadly strike. And then I do have Enigma already on my Assassin. So the Enigma could give me a bunch of strength so that I can put the rest into Dexterity, you know? Or I could roll Fortitude, maybe. Um, we'll see how what we like what resources we have. The Mercenary is going to have to be Pride and Might Mercenary to give me the biggest bump to damage. And then Grim Ward will... Um, like, enemies that are being affected by Grim Ward will be like it's more than amp damage so it's like more than oh dude another check this out eight percent enhanced damage 20 poison damage over two seconds dude bummer 
D Bomber, I don't have another socket available. That's a nice, that's a nice no-level requirement charm right there, or a jewel right there. That's super nice. Darn, I wish I had another, uh, socket. You know? Oh, well. Nice. That's a nice jewel, though. I really like that. I've never really played around with Grimward either. I look forward to seeing that, says Zaug. Mihata says, Hell Chaos Sanctuary on a bow barb makes you appreciate Venom Lords. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. I think with I think if I have enough stuff, and I have an, uh, these like large charms, by the way, I don't really have the ones I need yet. My assassin has some of them. But large charms can roll six max damage on them. And if they don't have anything else on them besides that in attack rating, they're not that valuable on on the trade for trading. So I'm I'm gonna just gonna try to get as many of those as I can too. Like I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I probably need like six or eight of them, and then I'll try to get like a barb torch or something if I can, you know. So yeah, Grim Ward. Uh, Battle orders. There's really nothing you can do over here on the combat masteries except for like 1.1 wonders and then maybe an, just whatever you need for resistances. And then you can't use any of the combat skills with a bow. Um, so leap is kind of like your only skill there. Which I've already been using a lot. And it's kind of fun because what, what you do is like you can go like this and leap back and then shoot them all. And the leap... The more levels you have into it, the bigger, the more you can, like, kind of knock them back. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Like, I, I've never used it, so this is me, you know, this is the test, basically, is making the character. But since, but since Grim Ward just, like, enhances, it makes them take more damage, kind of like Amp Damage does. Um, I think that's why it'll be really good with going all physical damage and just trying to get as much Deadly Strike as I can and max damage as I can. And then all the auras, you know. Um, also, for the end game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on swap, I'm going to use an Oath and then try to get a Wisp Projector so that I can cast Heart of the, Heart of the Oak or Heart of the Wolverine, I, I mean, at level 16, swap and not lose it because I still have a Wisp on. And then, obviously, Raven Frost, but we have we have that already on the Assassin. And then uh, gloves, I have a pair of blood gloves I crafted already with 10% crushing blow. And then the belt. Even though the Bereza that I have has 100% pierce, I think Razor Tail will be the best for the 15 dexterity and the 10 max damage. So I think that'll be the most damage, is getting a Razor Tail. Does Bereza shoot explosive? No, it does not. It has 100% pierce and freezes target, though. And some and some cold damage on it. And it has max damage based on character level. So it actually has a lot of damage, and you can up it to a Colossus crossbow. And it has 80% attack speed on it. So, like, it, it's going to give us a bunch of things... And, like, right now, this bow has 50% pierce. And when guys are lined up, you can see that I hit multiple of them, and it's it's kind of cool. So, like, here, I'll, I'll try to, like, run back here. And see if I can demonstrate. Well, that wasn't the best. I was kind of, like, standing right next to them. There. And then knocking them back is nice, too. I can also use, like, Howl. If I want to go like this and make them run, I could do that. And then they can, like, have the run effect on them. Um, or I could use Taunt and have them come towards me like this. And then I can shoot them on, while they're on their way over. 
Like that. There, that guy's gone. <laughs> so that just pierced and hit all those, all three of those guys. So that's going to be happening 100% of the time with the Bariza. Which will be really good. Um, I got something for you for level 21, but it's going to be a huge upgrade. Oh, for real, dude? Alright, sweet. I got the waypoint, so let me, um, I'll create a game, yo. Lobby, create game, Bo Barb, password is, uh, one. On my way. Good day. That's your druid, yeah. <laughs> Worm Skull. Ooh, the 80 poison damage. The lifesteal. That's what I used on my assassin when I was leveling. My guess is max damage grand charms. Um, I was going to go f just for the large charms, Zog, because I feel like they're, um, they're cheaper, you know? So just six max damage large charms. I, I feel like we could get those a lot cheaper. Two min, cold damage, a little life, okay, or cold resist, I mean. Oh, there we go. You don't need you don't need that for your uh, summoner druid. <laughs> yeah, see, this is gonna be good. Even though this has a hundred percent pierce, ten max damage, fifteen dex is gonna go a long way. Oh, dude. What is this? 100 attack rating, 5% bonus. That's good. Yeah. That's a nice little ring for me right now. And it's got light radius, so I can see my surroundings. Oh, you were guessing for the level 21 thing. I see, I see, I see. My bad. Bariza will kill the Hork, right? Cold damage? Yeah, I don't really... I don't really, uh... I'm not really going for, uh... The Horking and stuff that much. I don't really care about that. If I can... If I can find item on a corpse, I'll use it. And if I can't, then I can't. It's like, it's not that big a deal to me. Because, like, this build... If I wanted to be optimal... If I want to be an optimal Barbarian, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is just for... This is just for fun. This is for experimentation too you know um uh, this one I don't think I can really use this one actually so I'm just gonna sell that one uh so but yeah it will like if it too bad you're not melee could what Six tal this for insane poison damage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, we're not gonna do that. It's okay. I want a reason to use some of these uniques too. You know, so like uh, this um, this bow, and then next is gonna be the rogue. 
the rogue's bow. This thing is going to have really fast attack speed. It's going to be nice. And it's got 30% deadly strike. Um, and there's also this at 20. Uh, damage to undead. I wonder if those two together might be really good in... In the uh, tombs where we're about to be. So, let me see. This is also level 20, all this poison resistance. I don't know if I need that, though. So... Okay, well, let's just keep going. Want this... Uh, what was it? For 27. Grim Ward Battle Orders. Mm. Visionary Mod. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Let's see. Five strength, 16 poison. Ooh, life. Strength. Strength. Cool. Yeah, that'll be cool. I'll try that out at 27. And the razor tail, bro. Yeah. I'll be able to use that with this for a bit before we even use this. So you need 110 strength to use Bariza. So we're going to have to start... Have to start putting some points into strength. Jeez. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough. Chances, little chances here. Um. No, I don't. Th I don't think I'll use those for end game. Lol. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I have um. I have these. Right now, that I'll use later. Life steal, crushing blow, strength, life, poison res. If you get wolf howl, you can melee with your bows. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, I could. Or just summon the dire wolves for style points, basically. What about Giant Skull? Could be cool. Well, yeah, maybe. Depends, because I... I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go G-Face for as much... As much, uh... Deadly Strike as I can get my hands on. Oh, dude, more poison ones. Nice. I love those. I don't think I really need that one. The cold res 24 could be nice. For since we're coming up on Durial. Three men, three max with attack rating. That's good. Angelics, yeah. I got rid of I got rid of all that other stuff, the low level stuff that I was using in my assassin. Oh, what's this? Ooh, could imbue that with a quest, right? And hope for a uh, repairs mod and everything. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that was the plan to imbue. Okay, gotcha. I have some of those left with... I, I think I have two left with the assassin. 
Okay, so this is cool. Um, let's see, what low-level junk do we have now, huh? This is where this is where the true end game is. Might need that strength, honestly. Um, whoops. Let me see here. And then there's this one as well. Yeah. Okay, so we've got. Um, I don't really need that. Bruh. What? Oh. Yeah, that would probably help, right? But what about my cool armor that I'm wearing now? Twenty percent increase attack speed. There we go. With ten dexterity, but I think I actually do more damage right now with this, just because this early in the game, the that poison damage at for two seconds is not bad. All right, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use all these jewels, dude. <laughs> because I like, I already have. Maybe in the future. Yeah, okay. For a new project. Okie doke. So. I'm going to put this on the Merc. <laughs> I'll put that to good use. I actually... I need like a helmet for him. So I could maybe give him that. Maybe I should just give the mercenary these two things, and then I could switch over. Well, anyway. She can use the rogue's bow. I'm using Act 2 mercenary, though, for the blessed aim. Um, I kind of want to see how good the rogue's bow might be on my guy. The Tau runes, I don't, like... I don't have anything to... I don't have like a three socketed bow for those. Or six. The rogue will outperform act two. With, with the rogue's bow. Okay. Alright, well I gotta get there. You drop. Oh, do you want him back? You can take him or leave him. Okay. Alright. I'm going. Going back to the canyon. No. I don't want them. Alright. Good luck further. Cool. Thanks. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see the mercenary now with his faster speeds. Wow, he's good. Did you come back over here, bro. Here we go. Oh, yikes. Whoops, I don't even know where I'm going yet. Hold on. Yeah, it's not that way. He shreds now. Gotta get him a hustle scythe. Number says, this a bow bar bow barian? Yeah, it is, dude. I'm we're level 19. Level 19. We've got some stuff waiting in the stash to try to improve him.
Yeah, insight is insight. I think is twenty seven. Insight's level twenty seven. It's not that one, shit. Which one is it? Not that one. Uh, mercenaries kind of doing everything. Uh, let's see. There we go. Wow. I know, right? I'm his buff rogue. He's the hero. You're the mercenary now. Have a good one. <laughs> gotta go. Alright, later. You gotta walk those dogs again, huh? Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Run. His explosion killed him. Damn it. Oh man, the, uh, this is bad. <laughs> Making a little bit of progress here. Oh no, someone's reviving him again. It's this guy.
Okay. Alright, how can I keep this mercenary alive? Hmm. Hello. Who goes there? Maybe prayer merc merc would have been better, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. Okay, we leveled, so that's kind of good. Let's go back. Try out this other one. Try that, too, with the fleeing and the undamaged to undead. There's damage to undead on this, too. And then, I guess I could keep that. Here's our bow barbarian now. <laughs> Leap attack does nothing, so forget it. One into iron skin, sure. Battle cry. This might actually really help a lot. So we'll put one into that. Um... There we go. I can't carry anymore. So it says we do less damage on paper, but really I think we're doing a lot more now. With all the damage to undead and the uh faster frames we got now with this weapon. Let's see. Yeah. That's starting to go pretty good. Poison damage. So much stuff dropping now. 20 cold resist. 3 strength. Or 3 dex. Hmm. We're actually at max cold res. So that's good. That'll be really good for uh, Duriel. Got 75. Does dying during a boss encounter affect loot rolls? I have wondered this forever, says Morris. 
I have never considered that before. I don't think it does. But then again, what it can, depending on how you play, can change the RNG. So it's like, maybe it does, you know? Like if you go in and out of a portal or something, it might change it. But to say if that's better or worse, no idea. There's no way to know, really. Unless you have, if you know, unless you knew what seed you're on. And you've tested it, like Ginger Gaming Mentor does, you know, with some of the stuff he's been trying to figure out. There's so many possibilities with that, I just don't see how you can really even figure it out, you know? Okay, we're doing much better now. Like, way better. The monster flea is actually even nice, too. Good job, mercenary. Thanks. Okay, see, now we have something here, at least. This is actually working out. Yes. Okay. Oh, my gosh, dude. Look how many. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so many. Mmm. That was Greetings. tough. Oh, that sucks, too. Zaug says you got a 10 max damage grand charm. Nice. Nice, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some of the ones off my assassin too when it's time, but yeah, that'll be that'll definitely help. Um. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. So I gotta run all the way back. Hmm. Get him. Get him. What level is he? 17. How come he's not, like, just leveling up really fast? It's Suna. Oh, shit. Wrong, wrong one. It's, uh, which one is it? Is it this way? Charms are at stash. Okay, here. In Act 2, right? Yeah, okay, I see you. This is yours. Bye. Thanks. 
Ooh, yeah. Mmm. Aw, oh, dude. Level 21? Freaking switch. Thanks, Alec. You got two of them, man. Wow. Okay. This bow barb is going to be really strong, actually, once we get it going. I promise, all right? <laughs> remember, I found the... Remember, I got those two burr runes on my assassin as well. And a, and a sur rune. So, we've got a little bit of wealth on that character that we can... Make a few things, you know? Trade for a few things as well. Oh dear, here it is. Oh man, dude, what's what? Have, he's just gonna die. Run, dude, run away. Okay. 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 Whew. I still can't get through. There we go. Okay, um, we need to go back. I don't have any potions now. Well, the important thing is we look super cool. Good day. It is an honor to serve you. Good day. I'm just going to get more of those for now. All right, okay. Uh... So level 21, we're 20. Wow, that's going to help a lot. Um, I still don't know if this is helping me more. Monster Flea is kind of nice. Try this one out again for a little bit. There's like a million freaking guys in there. Good. Okay. Whew, it's kind of tough like that. That's cool though. Arrows. There we go. Still got the that one, but this is this is working out better. Okay, uh, 
Does the radius go up on this? No, it doesn't. It stays. That's right. Okay. What about this one? Hmm. The radius does go up on Howl. Hmm. 24, I can get Grim Ward, though. So I can start using that. That'll be fun. Because I never, I've never used that, really. And then... 30 is that. 24, I can get one into that. Okay. We'll get a little bit of run walk it and a few more levels. So, looking forward to that. And Grim Ward. Come on over here. Cool. I taunted him behind the pillar. And he came out of it. That was sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. We gotta run. Here we go. Awesome. Nice. That's cool. So if I go like this, and then jump back. Oh, there we go. That's it. Now I figured out how to play. <laughs> okay. Use that, jump back. Okay. Just gotta get the staff. Okay, um, can you explain what the goal is for that build, please? Uh, yeah, I can. So, VPR, um, first of all, we look cool as a barbarian be with a bow, right? And we don't have pants on, see? And that's part of it. Anyway, the, um, Bariza is one of the weapons that I can go for. You can up this for more damage, and the max damage is, uh, scales with your level. So, as we keep growing with the character, once we can use this, we'll be stronger and stronger. It has 100% pierce, 80% increased attack speed, and 35 dexterity. Um, basically, I'm going to try. I'm going to take my Raven Frost from the Assassin. We have a Razor Tail for more dexterity and max damage. We've got charms with max damage attack rating. Uh, we're going to pull some of our other charms from the Assassin as well. We need to get our hands on High Lords and Gore Riders for more Deadly Strike, Crushing Blow, and all that. G-Face I already have on my Assassin, which has Deadly Strike, Crushing Blow. And basically, once we level up enough to the Act 2 Mercenary, we can switch over to Might and Pride. And then, um, with Grim Ward maxed out, we will be doing more damage than even what Amplify damage could do. And so... I'm pretty sure once Grim Ward is activated with Pride and Might and all those max damage charms and all the Deadly Strike and Crushing Blow capability we'll have, our Deadly Strike will be at about 80% or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to d dish out like 20,000 damage with this Barbarian. Um, it won't say that on paper, I don't think, but I think with all the crit damage and like all the Grim Ward damage and everything, 
I think we're going to, like, seriously be looking at, like, tens of thousands of damage. Um, so, and this has 100% pierce. You know? KK, not bad. Yeah, so I think, and, but I have never tried it, you know? So I'm just trying to, like, in French, bull barb sounds like handsome barb. <laughs> oh, does it? That's funny. Handsome Barb. I named this character Hawk. But yeah. Um, this was working out too, alright. This one has Monster Flea on it. So that was kind of cool. 20 strength too. Um, you really need a lot of strength to use this. Bariza at level 41. We're... 20. So 20. I don't know if we'll have enough. I mean, we will eventually because we could wear Enigma. But at 41, it's gonna I'm going to have to actually dump in a bunch of points. Bow Barb. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like beautiful bow. Yeah. I've actually met men with the name Bo as like their name B-E-A-U the name of the game is Bo Barb I think no yeah Paladin put the end build in max roll please it'll show DPS including crits yeah I should do that I should definitely do that I'll have to do that guys and then maybe I can um, share the link because I never do that you know I'm just like I just I usually just like try to think of the builds and then I just make them and play them and then if I like how it's going then I keep playing it and then I show it on the channel um, that's usually what I do see look I have a G face and I did use my socket quest on it so I um, and I I found a jewel that's 39% enhanced damage too so I can put that in this so yeah I think I think that'll be pretty good. I don't think it'll be that strong until we get higher level, though, because the Bariza has max damage based on character level. So, you know, we might have to sit in, like, Nightmare for a while and do the bail runs and, you know, all the normal stuff that you gotta do. Um, Mercenary's gonna get wrecked here. I know it. He's so gonna get wrecked here. Uh, I didn't grab the staff, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, here we go. I have enough cold res, but the mercenary doesn't. Yeah, look at him. He just got absolutely wrecked immediately. What do you think, huh? I think this is pretty good. Right? Right? Paladin uh, says, I'd do it now, but I'm not at home with my PC. Was that not a sweet Durio kill? Upgrade. Storm Guild. One to six lightning damage. That should have a lot more lightning damage on it. Come on. It's not very exciting. Two Molten Boulder. Two Oak Sage. I don't think I've 
ever seen molten boulder on something before. The, have you ever seen molten boulder roll on a druid antler or pelt? I mean, maybe you have. I haven't. I swear I've never seen it. Like what? Am I the only one that's amazed by that right now? Darn, I should have let him finish talking. Okay. This is terrible news. It's not that bad. Come on. So two to Molten Boulder, two to Oak Sage, one to Raven. Level 12 required. Huh. I'm just curious about that for now. <laughs> Might have to use that just to use the weapon. Go and remember us fondly. That's what he says after, I'm sorry things didn't turn out. Because I usually don't listen that far. Go and remember us fondly, he says. All right, act three, here we go. Bobarb, engaged.
Waypoint. Okay. Alrighty. So, got to Act 3. Things are starting to come together a little bit more now. We got some nice, nice gear to use pretty soon here. One more level, and these, uh... 10 max damage charms. Holy crap, dude. And then, uh... Razor Tail at 32. Bariza at 41, if I have the strength. 21, too. We can get some lifesteal with this and more poison damage, but... Mm, yeah, I guess that... It's 10... Uh, this might be better still. I don't know. Yeah. My gemmed cap might be better still. And then... There's that. Yeah, so, okay. G-Face at 34. We do have Goblin Toes at 22. So, yeah. And then there's Rattle Cage if I want to wear that. So, yeah. Anyway, tons of upgrades coming up here. And I think I'll pick up with that maybe tomorrow. Um, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. So, anyway... Thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out with me and uh, being here for starting the new character on Season 6 Ladder. Um, <clears throat> kind of a chill stream, just trying to level this guy. Started out a bit slow, but now it's starting to pick up. So we'll have to come back to it tomorrow. Zaug, thanks for uh, for the donation. And uh, I'm glad you put that Bariza up on Tradery. And that was really funny that I bid on it and was like... Hey, it's Zaug, you know. That was hilarious, dude. Um, kind of funny how that coincided. Paladin says GG, and uh, VPR says see ya. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot. Um, 